I say, I found a nice Dodge. You're gonna like it. I did one before. It's the one with the Viper uh, motor in it. If you guys went crazy over it, you know, like I went crazy over it, yeah. The big V10, you know. So uh, if you saw this one before, as I said, if you saw this one before, this is the one I did. It turned out to be a real nice video on this truck. But if you saw this one, you're gonna like the next one I got. Yeah, a nice two-door Dodge truck, Ram truck. And they call this the Night Runner. I mean, it's all black with the Dodge V10 motor in here. The Viper, they call it Viper Charged. This is a nice truck, y'all. And we're gonna have some fun with it. Look at the front end, see how aggressive that truck style is? It's like a big bully. You see the induction, the ram air induction there for the for that Viper motor, you know. And it comes around, swings back around here. And you get into these nice big rims that's on this truck, man. Nice rims on here. And you see it says Viper powered. Let you know it's got that V10 Viper motor in here, man. And this thing, boy, it's nice. And unlike that burgundy one back there, or this here, this SRT10, it's a two-door. So you got less weight on here. This thing was built for speed and performance. And better yet, that one was an automatic. This one here is a stick shift. Ain't that nice? A stick shift in this truck. You know, and you know you can really open up with this thing. You know, they got a cover over the bed. Nice rims on here, man. No damage to this thing. You swing it back around, look. The same dual tip V10 exhaust, you know. The SRT10 badge on the back, that ram. You know, this is nice. This is real nice. If I had it, I'd be drag racing with it. <laughs> Oh, I definitely would be. I'd take it to the track. You, you got that right, because I'd buy some rims for the track and some track tires, and I'd put it out there. Yeah, why not? Shoot, I'd put that one there. want to send back over there. That's the first one. I'd take that to the track and put it out there. Why not? Have some fun with it. All that speed and power, you just going to let it go to waste? Come on. You know, this thing is nice. Look at that, stick shift. And you know it's a six speed. Oh, you know that. You know that this thing's a six speed. It's got up to 160 on the dash. I'm pretty sure you can get that to do way more than that. But a V10, you get to modify it, please. You got your climate control, your radio, your stick shift, passenger seat driver's seat everything looks good in here for 06 man this thing was well taken care of rear window i mean you can't beat this i love it let's take a look at the information board all right guys this is an 06 dodge ram srt 10 night runner Ooh, it's got a big name and it's got an 8.3 v10 in here Six speed manual, black on gray and black interior, 25,000 actual miles on here. And you see the price, 65 grand as is. You know, this thing is nice. Viper powered, SRT 10, big time night runner, Ram truck, 06, built for speed. All right, guys, it's here, classic. Gateway Classic Cars, give them a call if you want it. Bye. Okay, guys, hey, I found another Chevy, a classic Chevy. You could call it that now because they don't make them anymore. Um, this was uh, during the 80s when these things really were real popular. And um, let's see, 82, maybe through 88, 89. Um, but I would see these everywhere. You know, people had them, T-top. Convert, uh, not convertible, but um, sunroof top, um, 
SS models, you know, LT models. And these things were nice. And we're gonna look at one. There's a real nice one here right now, here at Gateway Classics. Let's take a look. All right, guys, there's an 86 Chevy Monte Carlo SS. You know, now it's got the small point of the small 5.0 V8. And it's not that, that ain't that small, but you know, when you want to get a 350 in here, this is what these things, this front end, this thing could hold a 350, could hold a bigger motor than that, you know. But General Motors are only allowing Chevy to put either a 350 or a smaller V8 in here, like a 305, you know, 307. But this thing, body wise, I have no complaints. This thing's clean. It's clean. Look, dual exhaust tips. Boom. Boom. Chevy Monte Carlo. Garage kept. You had to keep it in the garage. You couldn't leave it outside because it would get stolen. I heard of more than enough of these things getting stolen. You know. But this thing is nice. Let's look at the passenger side. This window's down. We can get a good look inside of here. And we get a turn it around and boom dashboard looks real nice nice and clean right on the center AM FM radio climate control and a simple setup nothing complicated simple setup passenger seat going in the back seats that's pretty clean back there Let's check out the driver's side. And here we are, driver's side. We're going to take a look. we we'll catch the back seat. Yeah, there's a decent back seat back there. I mean, hey, you can't complain. It's an 86. It survived the time, you know. Oh, yeah. There's nothing really to complain about with this car. This is a good looking car, you know. It seems to be well kept and survived the time for when it was actually first built. Up until now, it's a solid car, you know. No a whole lot of computerized stuff on it, but these were built for performance. A great ride and performance and good looks, you know. You couldn't really beat these Monte Carlos. I used to want one back in the day. A 88, 89 model I used to want so bad. Oh yeah. And this one here is an 86. So as we look, 86 Chevy 5.0 V8 overhead valve. Automatic with white interior as we saw, burgundy. Uh, I should have said white exterior, burgundy interior, two door. And you get the description of the list stuff that came with it and your description down here and if you saw the price yeah twenty four thousand. as is you're a gateway classic cars give them a call guys if you like it